Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a fun new stamp set that's in the new mini catalog. It's this cute Taco Fiesta set. It's on page 48, and this is kind of a, one of those little character-y character sets that, I don't know, they're a little unique and fun but I wanted to show you some fun ideas I came up with using them and just give you a few tips on it as well. So one of the ideas I came up with was this real cute um, Holy Guacamole It's Your Birthday card. So it's kind of a little fun fold there and I just stamped a lot of those images that are in that set. You can see all the images here and then it has a really fun saying, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. I thought this card could be for pretty much anyone in your life. It could be masculine, it could be for a teenager, it could be for a kid. I feel like there are few sets that are so versatile and could be for so many different people in your life. And this is one of them. And it's so it's so cute and funny. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. The other sayings in here are cute too. You have spectacular. You have your nacho average friend and long time no taco. You also have you spice up my life. I'll show you this card I made using you spice up my life. And you can see all those cute chili peppers all over. I thought this could be cute for Valentine's Day even. You could make even some cute little Valentines using the You Spice my, Up My Life and the peppers. Super fun for that. But the, the main thing I wanna show you is actually using a punch along with the stamp set because we're going to make a taco. So I'm gonna kinda show you how I did this. We're going to use this decorative circle punch. You can kinda see this punch looks a little bit like a tortilla, right? So then if you were to fold it up, you have a cute little taco, just like that. So we're gonna build a little taco here and I'll show you how I do it. So I have some early espresso. This is gonna be our taco meat and I'm just going to crumple it up like ground beef so that it just kind of is all crumbly. And I'm just going to stick this right on the inside here of my taco and then trim that down. Just like that. Okay, so you have your taco meat. And then I need some lettuce and I need some cheese. My kids would say I don't need lettuce, but I love lettuce on my tacos. So to get my lettuce, I'm just gonna make kind of some little shreddies here, just by cutting off a very small edge of my green paper here, just like that, okay? And then we'll adhere this down as our lettuce. And I'm not gonna take the time to do all the adhering. We're just gonna kind of stick it in there like that and then you can trim it down and even scrunch it up a little because lettuce isn't perfectly straight just like that and then for the cheese we're going to do the same thing we're going to take some orange and trim off some little edges so we kind of have some shreds there like that and then do the same thing and we're just going to put cheese and cheese is straighter and shorter. So it's just gonna go right on top. Oh, and the most important thing that I forgot to show you. Before any of that, you have to put a cute little face on your taco. You can see in the stamp set, there are some little faces. You can have a surprised face, a winky face, or this little mustache. I'm partial to the mustache. So I'm just going to take some memento ink and stamp my little mustache face right on the front there, okay? Okay, let me show you 
the finished card with this cute taco. Here it is. Long time no taco. And then you can see I just used a little piece of the Delicate Desert Designer Series paper just in the back, just to give a little bit of interest. But such a simple card, so cute with the little face on there. You always could color up a cute little taco too if you like the stamp in there. That's always a cute option. But we always love a little punch art to add to a cute card. So, super fun. I love this stamp set. I feel like it's great and and versatile for all of the people in your life. You can use it for many occasions. Cinco de Mayo is always a great time to use it, but super fun. So I hope that you go and check out the Taco Fiesta stamp set. And if you want to make one of these cute punch art tacos yourself, make sure to go get the decorative circle punch as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.